What up, players? Wobas tay up in this mud. Welcome to day three of Project Dwarves, Project Stunties, whatever you want to call them. I've got my two completed units of quarrelers here and great weapon warriors here. I put these guys in ranks of four just because I couldn't fit them on this little surface area if if I made them bigger, but I'm gonna take a quick look through what I have and then we're gonna take a look at the bits box to see what bits are left over. Now in both of these units I have full command, so here's my standard and here's my musician for this one. And the quarters were really easy to put together. I didn't realize because I haven't put any of these guys together before, but all dwarves, regardless of unit, all plastic dwarves have basically the same lower body, which is this flared, poofy, poofy dress, chainmail dress looking thing. It's really terrible, I hope they redo it soon. Um, but I have the guys in the front aiming their weapons forward. I have the standard bearer smoking his pipe. The unit champion has got his aimed up and he's toasting the enemy. Uh, I, I've got this, I've got him holding this, this little mug of ale um, to, to show that he's the unit champion. And then the guys in the back are holding theirs up, their crossbows are up, and they are holding crossbow bolts in their right hand as if they're about to aim. So it's kind of first rank fire, second rank fire for you Imperial Guard players out there. I kind of model them to look like this and you know if I decide to reform my guys so that they're facing a little bit differently, sorry get this guy out of there, then um, I think it'll be okay but lining these guys up in in two ranks of eight. I think that's pretty sick. And if I if I decide to bulk out the unit and get um, 20 guys, then having two rows, two ranks of 10, and pumping in all 20 shots from a, a longer distance from the crossbow, I think that's that's pretty cool. 20 shots, um, especially if I give these guys the ranger upgrade, which will allow them to go. To, uh, have a scout move right I think the rule is anyways on all these guys I also modeled these double-handed weapons on the back so not only are they packing heat they are packing two-handed axes I think every single one except for most of the guys with the capes because the capes are just too there, there's no surface area for us for, for me to put the the axe on like the unit champion here, that's kind of how they all are. So, um, but I had fun with this unit. There were enough extra arms and and um, there were enough hands holding the crossbows up for me to model them like this. So I think it's, it's a great aesthetic that the first rank is aiming their crossbows and the second rank has their crossbows up. Uh, next, let's look at the great weapon warriors. For these guys, um, I've got them all holding two-handed axes and marching forward. For this one I used a icon standard rather than a flag standard. I wanted the hammers to have their their cloth flag standard. It will help differentiate them even more. The, the hammers also have the dragon-headed horn. I gave this guy a regular horn. To differentiate that they're not as it's not as ornate the equipment these guys have isn't isn't really as you know as good I'm also planning on painting the hammerers capes doing some inlaid um, gold hemming and stuff intricate design work to to differentiate them that when I was putting these guys together I thought oh it would have been so cool to have given all of the capes to the hammerers and had these guys in these regular poofy chainmail dresses to show that they weren't as um, you know, as high up in, in the 
the ranks, but got a lot done today and I spent a little bit longer than my allotted three hours to get these all done just because I was on a roll and I wanted to get them finished and um, I was, yeah, I, the, the momentum was going and everything so I, I was really happy with just getting them done. Okay, so now I'm going to pause the video for a second and get these guys off of my bits box and we'll pop it open and take a look at what's inside and what leftovers you have from building your your warriors and your missile troops for the Dwarf Battalion box. Okay. So we're back with my bits box and this is everything that I've left over from the Dwarven Battalion and actually some other bits that I had left over from my uh, Dwarf Commission job earlier but most of what you're about to see is from the leftovers from one battalion box with some extra sprinkled in. So let's take a look at them. Here are some hands holding axes, hands holding beer mugs, which I'm planning on saving if I do more night goblins uh, with dwarf bits. I'm gonna have some of the night goblins holding beer mugs. <laughs> like they raided the, the breweries of the dwarves for beer. I think that's pretty funny. Um, a lot of shields, a lot of extra shields. Since I didn't use any of the shields for my dwarves, I just used two-handed weapons. Look at all these extra shields for the scenery, for for night goblins to be holding. Just a lot of a lot of extra dwarf shields. These are the bits that come in with the warrior sprue, and also a couple on the. On the Thunderer sprue, but mostly on the Warrior sprue, it's these these um, me medallions or these golden or bronze hanging hanging medallion things that hang off the supposed to hang off the standards of the flags. But I could see you um, hanging some of these off of pouch and a thing should not be in there. I could see them hanging off of you know axes or particularly large axes or hammers just for decoration also there are some little horns that are supposed to hang off of the edge of banners as well but they're so small and fiddly that um yeah I, I i don't see the point really and then here's where i put all of my extra axe heads that i've chopped off for the to make the to make the conversion for the hammers as well as the um the 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 hammer arms where I'd have to cut off the hammer heads from so basically just a bunch of the cut off bits from the conversions for the hammers unit. Here we've got extra two handed weapons which you can tell because it has a left hand on the bottom and a right arm holding the weapon. There are single hand weapons to use hand weapon and shield for and then single arms for any of the dwarf torsos that look like this and have no arm attached to the front. The single arm attaches to the left shoulder, hangs out in front, and then you stick a shield on it. Then we've got face masks. You get four for every four dwarf warriors, but you know, unless you use them for every one, you're gonna end up with a bunch, just like I did. And then we have a whole bunch of dwarf heads and torsos and really if, if I I've got enough stuff here that all I really need is the dwarf legs and the back piece and I could make a whole bunch more dwarfs look at all these extra pieces that you have from from the box sets then you've got these are for the quarrelers now everything we just went over was from the dwarf warrior box but this is for the quarrelers and the thunderers box got these ranger shields that you can glue to the backs of your quarrelers to signify them as rangers. They also have shields. And then we've got, here are just the extra bits that hang off, hang off of the, the belts and <clears throat> substitute hands and such. Extra pistols to put on the belt, pouches. You see um, some of these pouches have charges for the, for the handguns, like bullet charges and some of them have crossbow bolts sticking out, like this one. Because I put double-handed weapons on 
all of my thunderers. There was no place on their backs to be holding these extra pouches, so I just ended up with them. Oh, and these are the double-handed weapons that you could put on the backs of your thunderers and quarrelers. And then here is just some extra engineering bits from the cannon sprue, pickaxe, this uh, telescope rangefinder thing, a shovel. Then some more dwarf upper torsos and heads. Make more dwarf uh, quarrelers. Then we've got the thunderer arms with all these handguns that are just going to go to waste because I chose not to use the handguns, I chose to use the crossbows. And even with using the crossbows, I have a whole bunch of extra crossbows. I don't even know why there are so many extra ones. Could be because of the champion and the standard and the musician, but I don't know because I feel like I still used so much for them. I, I don't know why there are this many extra bits. A couple extra bases, and then here are all of the extra standards and musician arms from the Dwarf Warrior set. So you see icons, you see uh, the horns, you see the cloth standard, a whole bunch of stuff that I don't know what I'm going to do with. Um, yeah, so, so this is what you would have at the end of a battalion once you've built up your models. And just, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I might put them all away and just save them for converting later. I don't know if it's worth going through the trouble of finding more dwarf legs, like going bits hunting so that I can make more guys with the with these upper torsos. Um, we'll see. I'll just stick this somewhere in a corner for now and um, continue with my dwarf project stunties, project dwarfs. Uh, yeah, so this will be the end for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. For those of you out there um, who are thinking of starting your own project like I'm doing, feel free to leave some video responses and um, track your progress along with me. This is only a day three, I believe, when I'm filming this of Project Dwarfs, and I'm already built, I've already built all my units, all I have to do is build up my cannon, and um, my army isn't going to be anywhere near as comprehensive as Christopher's was from AG Productions, his Wood Elf army had so much stuff in it, and um, all I'm doing is a battalion box set, but uh, still yet, I think it's a good way to challenge yourself to get something done. As you can see, I'm wearing pants in this video, so you don't have to see my hairy legs. And, um, yeah, please feel free to comment and like this video if you, if you are enjoying the products that I'm putting out and the kinds of videos and the quality that I'm doing, then uh, let me know. I, I respond to all of my feedback for those of you who have written into my videos before know that uh, I, I like to keep in touch with the people who are watching my videos just to see, you know, feedback and, um, just, I, I like to hear what you guys think about about my progress and about things that you think I should do differently. And, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention this little square is just the Quarrelers and the Thunderers standards. You see they've got an icon too, it's got a book with the anvil on top. Arms and um, musician stuff like drums and, and um, drumstick arms. <coughs> But yeah, thanks for watching. Please uh, leave a comment, leave me some feedback. And um, if you're doing your own project, then uh, let me know how that's going. And we will continue, continue on together once more into the breach, my friend. I will see you uh, for tomorrow's update, where I plan on doing the cannon, assembling and building up the cannon. That's my plan for day number four. But for day number three, this is Warboss Tay, Warboss Studios. Warbosstaystudios.com. Uh, don't visit that website because I just made it up off the top of my head. It's not real. It doesn't exist. And I'll see you tomorrow.